Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. Today we will learn how to view link clicks from email in Marketing Cloud. So basically I came from this uh, trailhead uh, thread and this person was unable to view all the click activity related to an email uh, within a Marketing Cloud report. So basically we will build a functionality that allow us to um, get this data. So we are in Marketing Cloud, we will go in data extension within contact builder and we will create email links clicks folder and then we will create a target data extension and the name of this target data extension will be email link clicks as well we will put uh, this everywhere data retention we are not interested and then for each field we will come to copy the field that are uh, from uh, this uh, data view. So basically we will replicate the data view clicks. Basically the data view is like a database in Marketing Cloud that is not available from the user interface. It's only available from, uh, from like the, the query, if you query it basically. So I will come to copy job ID and all the fields so it will take a while sorry for that but that's the way we need to achieve this feature we will um, come to copy batch id because we want to know from which batch of email we send that uh, and subscriber key okay after event date, okay, domain, Oop. URL, okay, link name, okay, Link content, okay, is unique, okay, trigger send definition object ID, okay, and finally trigger send customer, okay. So we added this field. Now what we will do is we will add another field called email name because you will see in our SQL query, we will uh, basically, um, we will basically, so here I will put the value uh, minus one and minus one means uh, basically uh, that I want the the max like uh, which is uh, four thousand characters something like this otherwise I will get an error triggered so over your account job ID uh, batch ID URL okay link name okay link content to uh, okay so it should be fine and now we will click okay now we will click complete and here i have my data extension that is created now i will come to create an automation from Automation Studio. And basically what I will do is I will, um, I will insert like an SQL query and, uh, and the automation will run basically uh, every hour. So I put my scheduler. I say that it will start uh, hourly and you will never end on every hour. Okay, done. 
and then I will put the SQL query and then I will put uh, uh, the name. So it was email link clicks. So I just take the name. I usually use the same name everywhere between a query activity, a data extension and a target data extension. It's way more um, easy. So here I will come to put the code of my query. So basically, to, to give you a quick explanation, what I do is I select uh, from the click data view. So this data view, I select all the field and I store them, but I store them only for the field that are related to the job ID. And uh, and on the job ID, I will take the email name that relates between click and job ID. And then, uh, so basically, I'm interested for like the job ID that I can find in the click data view and also on my job um, data view. And from that, after I insert the email name. Uh, in my data extension. So I will validate the syntax. Okay, that seems to be all right. I will select the data extension. So the data extension will be email link clicks. I will click here. And then we, we, we really want to add each new data on top of this data extension. So I will click save. The name will be, as I say before, we always use the same name. So it's uh, email links click. Tac, tac, we click save. Then we click run once. Then we say, click select all activity. And then we click run and then we click run now. So now like the automation is running and basically the way it works, if it works correctly, as you can see, like the, the icon, the widget icon is green. So like the automation is complete. And now we will go in email clicks. So I will have to refresh it. So tac, tac. as you can see, there is one record count. So it's because I don't use those emails often. But as you can see here, I'm able to see um, wh what I've been doing in this data extension. So within this business unit, I only did one, one click uh, overall. But basically here, as you can see, on this click, I can get the job ID, the list ID, uh, also the batch ID that was the one, uh, the domain, the URL of the link that have been cl clicked, and also uh, the content of this email. And also like the email that was sent uh, initially before the click. So this can be quite useful. And as you can see, like this is a data extension that uh, really will be uh, populated as long as you are sending emails. So you need to send like a newsletter or things like this to fill out this data extension. But this is an example, and I hope you learned something new and you enjoy this video. If you have any question, please let me know. And thank you for watching this video.